welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about EduCandy. I think this is a really cool alternative for Kahoot. As you can see, this is the graphical user interface. There's a list of uh, types of formative assessments that you can create here. And we're going to start with quiz questions. Once we click here, we're going to do a small quiz for you to understand more or less how this thing works. First, your activity name, which is going to be Pro Tools Formative Assessment. Then your activity subject, which is obviously going to be Pro Tools. Then you're going to create. Once that's done, you have text, images, and sound. If you create a simple one, you can go with text. If you want something a little bit more complicated, go with image and sound to illustrate your question. If I press image, however, I need to download your app. Their app is available for uh, Windows, and you can see the sample of activities that are currently available if you do download the app. So let's go back and just create a simple formative assessment with one question. I'm gonna add text, and my question is gonna be the following. Um, I already have it here because I need to copy paste it to speed it up. What are the four edit modes in Pro Tools? This is just a technical question about an audio software that I normally used to teach. And now I'm going to put the answers. Just give me a small second so I can actually copy paste this really quickly without boring you guys too much. And we're almost done here. And we just press add question. And it will take a little bit of time to load, but it's gonna do it. Okay, it's done. We could duplicate the activity or add another question. Don't really wanna do that right now because I just wanna show you guys how to do this. Uh, and then you can compare it with Kahoot, for example, if you're using Kahoot quite often. I'm gonna press uh, my activities. And so in my activities around here, I have my Pro Tools formative assessment under the topic Pro Tools. I can edit again, I can play, or I can share. If I play, you're gonna see how this kind of pans out. I'll press the button here. This is kind of a very cute uh, graphical user interface. Looks a little bit childish, but um, I think it does do the trick. So we have a timer. Uh, we, we have points, so you can gamify this. Uh, you can stop the audio here. You can press back here and you can actually get the full screen here. And you have now a couple of seconds to answer the question and the faster you answer, the more points you get, etc. So what are the four edit modes in Pro Tools? Shuffle, Spot, Slip and Grid. I got it right. I got some points. I got this cool little sound effect saying that I got it right. And that's pretty much it. So if I go back to my activities, um, I can potentially share it with the students. And once again, you have the URL. You can hide this URL under a QR code if you want to make it more interesting. I spoke about QR codes in a previous video, so feel free to go to my channel and check it out. And that's about it. Thank you very much for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.